Hello my dear students, welcome back to our virtual class of English. So I am here, your English teacher Sugina Acharya Shakya with the lesson 6 uh, and the topic is the clever hair from your English literature book. So let's go through the lesson. So this lesson is about, this is a type of a story and it is here you can see the conversation between two animals okay so how the conversation uh, will start let's see together so here you can see the picture in this picture there is a lion yeah, and it is sitting in his den and you can see other animals over here so let's see what's the matter with them so the lesson starts here once upon a time there lived a cruel lion named Sim Sim who killed animals for food and fun so it says that once upon a time there was a very cruel lion the lion was very cruel he was not nice he was very harmful to other animals and his name was sim sim okay so he used to kill all the animals from that jungle for his food and to have fun to make himself happy and let's see more the animals of the jungle were scared all other animals from the jungle were very scared of them of uh, the lion to lose their life okay they decided to hold a meeting with the lion so the cruelty of lion uh, was increasing day by day so the animals of the jungle were very worried so they all talked to each other and they decided to have a meeting to go and talk to the lion about all the things that was happening in the jungle so what did they say so first of all deer went to the lion and deer said dear sir we request you to stop killing animals for fun he said sir we all would like to say that we all all would like to request you to stop killing other animals for just having fun we promise to send you one animal every day for your meal he also says that dear said that we will we promise you that we'll send a one animal by ourselves to you for your food. Okay, so that you don't need to kill other animals. So what did Sim Sim say? Sim Sim is the lion. Sim Sim said, okay, but I should get my food every day without any fail. So he said, you should obey your things and you should always send me my food in time okay so let's see more what happens next after that so every day one animal was sent to the lion so after that all the animals they decided and they went one by one uh, after that day to the lion by themselves one day it was the turn of chatur okay the hair chatur is the name of the hair on his way the clever hair planned a trick to escape from the lion okay chatur when chatur was on his way to the den of lion sim sim he uh, thought of something very interesting and he thought of, uh, he thought of a plan and he uh, made a trick he planned 
for a trick to escape from the lion. Here the words escape means to get free from the danger. He uh, did not want to lose his life for the lion. So what happened next? What did he do to save himself? So Simpson said, why are you so late? He was very angry and he said, why are you so late? And Chatur said, sir, I met a big lion on the way who said he was the king of the jungle. Oh, so this was his trick. He said that, sir, I met the other lion on my way and he said he was the king of the jungle. So lion said another lion he was confused and he was very angry of very angry to uh, hear about other lion another lion where is he take me to him so he ordered chatur to take him to the other lion the angry lion followed the hare the hare took him to the middle of the jungle and pointed to a well. So the clever hare, he took him, took the lion with him and at, uh, in the middle of the jungle there was a big well. Okay, so the lion looked down in the well. Okay, so inside the well there was water. Okay, so he saw his own image in the water. So when he looked inside the well like this, so he saw his own image in the water. He growled. He did. He growled loudly. When the growl echoed, he thought it was the other lion growling at him. When he growled inside the well, because inside the well the noise the voice it echoes okay the voice comes back okay the voice comes back when the voice came back to him he thought the other lion was also growling at him so he got very angry at him at the image okay he jumped into the well to kill the other lion so as he was very angry he was a, he got angry to hear the growling of the other lion as he thought and he jumped into the well to catch the lion and to kill it okay uh, yes he jumped into the well to kill the other lion and thus got drowned so as he jumped into the well to kill the other lion it got drowned in the well because it's very deep inside the well the water is very deep into the well it was the end of the mighty but foolish lion all the animals of the jungle lived happily ever after so in this way the lion he drowned into the well and it was the end of the mighty but foolish lion he was very foolish and he was very very cruel to other animals so this way the animals were very happy and they lived their life very happily after that okay so my dear students this was the story of uh, the clever hare and the lion from your english book that you can see in chapter 6 okay you can also go through this chapter you can also learn about what uh, and what does anger do to us okay so we should not be uh, angry all the time so anger kills us okay anger, anger our anger harms us okay so you can go through this chapter and uh, read by yourself so this is me, your English teacher, signing off for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.